The Canopy Climbing Collective is an international assemblage of advanced arborists seeking new experiences in new climates, in new forests, in new biomes. They've traveled halfway across the world to come to the California redwood trees and attempt feats that have never been before achieved by uh, arborists traversing long distances across wide creek beds. So here we are in Northern California with the intact forest ecosystem and the fog is hanging low in the morning. It's nurturing the trees. The trees are drinking in the moisture from the atmosphere while the arborists study, observe, and store away all the information that they've gained so that they can pull it out of the back pocket of their pants later on when they encounter situations that demand a full range of experience. The Canopy Climber Collective is got fantastic bunch of people here that are that are evaluating the forest and how humans interact with it so so we're going to do an interview with one of the gang this gentleman is an arborist from great britain and he is going to tell us about the rig and how it goes from one tree to the other yes yeah, so we've set up a uh, uh, an english reeve system in the middle which is basically we've got a rigging plate and it's set up to a top line with two pulleys and then we've got positioning lines underneath uh, they're attached with two alpine butterfly knots onto two beaners on the underneath and the idea is that we'll climb up one of the trees traverse across the high line over the top when you meet in the middle you can detach and go round the block and go all the way over or you can come down the central line that's running off the block in the middle as well um, that you can see Chaz at the top of at the moment. Um, so yeah, it should be a pretty fun day. What's the pond and the creek situation directly underneath the climber's feet? Uh, it's, it's not actually in sort of the riverbed. It is more, well it is in the riverbed, but it's more, it's more like uh, growth and stuff, grass rather than straight rocks and stuff. A wetland. Yeah. So it, we yeah. saw horsetails in there. We saw uh, a lot of scotch broom that's in bloom right now with these yellow flowers. Some invasive vegetation is coming in and it's been brought here by man. It's taken over our forest. Mm. And so there's a certain grooming element as well as a fireproofing element where uh, foresters have uh, uh, undertaken huge work crews to slow the advance of uh, this undergrowth that is very flammable and threatens the many, many homes that live, uh, people live out in the woods in. So I'm interested in the kind of the, the metrics, the, you know, what, how high is he above the ground and how far apart are the two trees that he's hanging from? So the two trees are about 110, 120 meters apart. Uh, and he's a he's just about so we've taken your 200 foot rope uh, and the the end of the rope is is just on the floor there's about a couple of foot maybe on the floor so it's it's probably just under 200 foot where Charles is with the sag but obviously at the top of those trees I'd say yeah good 250 probably 230 foot maybe and so they're, they're pretty big yeah and so the the enormous scale of this operation requires extra long ropes and specialized equipment. Yes. And hasn't Canopy Climb Collective gotten sponsorship from a lot of the manufacturers and the dealers that supply this gear? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We've got um, we've been incredibly lucky to be sponsored by some of the biggest names in the industry to, uh, yeah, obviously help us to do what we love to do and help us try and set some of this, some of this stuff up. Um, so I'm sure they'll be pleased when they see some of the uh, some of the videos that we're going to make hopefully today well we'll ha we'll try and include the logos of all of the sponsors but yeah, 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 uh, yeah. you know like like you just mentioned that uh, uh, that 200 foot rope and we just we just bro broke that out of the package today that was yeah. donated by monkeybeaver.com yeah no nice. uh, there, there 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 are several other american sponsors including uh, WTD equipment and uh, uh, Westpur and Cheryl Arbor Supply provided these ropes so without a 600 foot rope that comes on a spool, you cannot perform these operations because many times the ropes go double the distance yeah, so yeah, that yeah. the arborist can escape. What is the descent procedure for rappelling out of one of these trees? 
Um, it's, it's pretty much the same as a normal descent, but we've we've been using obviously a backup on all of our systems. So instead of just descending on one system, you were adding a, a figure eight uh, or a, uh, some people are using their ring and just putting like a little hitch through their ring and stuff. But we've always got a, a backup descender so that we're not putting too much stress on on your main you know your main working system. So that that reducing the stress also makes it uh, gentler on the trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what type of uh, cushioning or slings do you use so that there's no rope abrasion on the stem and the bark? Um, what slings do they have up there? I don't know if they've got any slings up there, to be fair. I know you can get cambium savers and stuff and uh, those big um, they're like velcro straps you can put around the bark, aren't they, that have like a cushion on them. We've got those for the, the tents, to be fair, the, um, the hammocks. They come with like bark straps. All right, that was excellent. <laughs> nice.